So welcome to the channel everyone. This is the old view of my home gym and a couple of months ago I decided to uh, change things up in this area, brighten it up, move things around. So I decided to get started in disinstalling, I guess, everything off the walls so that I can be able to paint. Thank goodness for real, he helped me get some things uh, uninstalled and taken down and everything needed so we can get ready to paint. And I chose white to really brighten this space up. Uh, painting was not hard at all. I actually went for a brand that covers dark walls. I believe it was Bear, B E. HR from Home Depot. I still had to do, you know, two coats on each wall, but it covered very well. So as you can see, this is really just the first coat. I'm not even done. I'm going to get into the second coat. You'll see what that looks like. But after I've done all of that, I decided to install everything back onto the walls. Uh, I got the TV up. And then I put the mirrors up. The mirrors aren't actually leveled as well as they should be, but uh, this was the easiest way that I could do it. And then off to the wall decals. You guys asked me in my Instagram feed when I was, you guys saw the inside of my uh, gym, where I got these wall decal from. They, this, I got these from uh, Amazon. That's where I got them from. So I just kind of pasted them the way that I would like to. They, they do come in a large, what in the world? <laughs> they do come in a large sheet so you can just place it on the wall, but I cut it up and did my thing with it. And then I got this shelving unit also from Amazon and decided to turn it into like a TV console that, you know, you put right underneath the TV. You'll see the final touches of what it looks like and why I decided to add legs on to it. Uh, just added the legs to that shelf myself. So to make it its own like TV stand in a sense. And I got rid of this carpet. It was the worst. It had been there for over 10 years. I just got rid of it. And you guys may or may not know, I have a Cricut uh, Air, Cricut Air, if you know, you'll see it. This machinery right here that does all of my different packagings and craft projects and stuff like that. So I used it in order to make the still standing strong decals that are on the walls that I added with the other decals. This is uh, Mario's like, um, tagline or his his brand line if you guys didn't know so I put that on the wall as well for him and finished up the Swedish bars or gymnastic bars or whatever you want to call it I went ahead finished painting the rest of that and then got these bars those dials up and this ring is for me to rig um, aerial silks uh, the punching bag that we have like yeah that's what I'm doing right now in the ceiling so I, I actually had to install it a certain way with the drill and then I had to cut a hole in there just so we could be able to expose it because I didn't want that part of the ceiling to be a hundred percent exposed and that was the purpose of me putting that there so like I said, we were able to um, put the kickboxing bag up there. And I was also able to put any of my aerial um, apparatuses up there as well. guys I'm gonna do this again <laughs> I am getting ready to work out but let me show you my home gym I popped down here real quickly for something <laughs> and left the light on because I'm getting ready to work out so I wanted to show you guys exactly what's in here this is what I'm wearing today I have to work out so 
it's always good to wear what you would wear if you were going to the gym feel like you're in your element but this is where I'm at so here's the wall with the TV I have that to for us to keep an idea of what our workout is going to be when we are in here have mats, have a foam roller, have heavier weights. We're actually going to get more. We might actually get a um, a weight like rack, like a tall one for the ones that we use the most. Got different things down here. Got books, core exercise, weight free exercises, yoga, high intensity. So most of these books came from five below. Um, plant five below as well this is for us to be able to record and take pictures while we're down here uh, we use this a lot I got this from Amazon this is a, a bar a bar well you guys know what it is and I got weights from five below as well and I'm gonna skip this as I'm gonna talk a lot more about what these items are because you guys didn't see it in the previous clips but here um, is where I do multiple things so if you don't know what Swedish bars are Swedish bars are what people who do gymnastics uh, aerial yoga uh, aerial work or aerial arts I'm a pole dancer I also do silks I also do yoga hammock um, yoga silks and stuff like that and I also do um, trapeze and lira which you've probably seen those in the earlier clips. But um, I use this for strength training and balance um, for upper body when we're doing a lot of aerial work because a lot of it is upper body strength. But that's what the bars are for. So this high one is up there. That's good because I can do um, some of my ab workouts on this as well. And then I have these, which these hook to it. So I have them in three spots. I have a top, middle, and the bottom on both sides of this. Oh, sorry for the noise, but I have that there so that I can be able to use what's back here. See what's back here? Back here is all of our um, body elastics. Like that's the brand. We have two sets of them. He has one and I have one. Uh, some of the ones that he have are at a higher weight, like 40 pounds or more. Uh, mines are a little bit lower in weight. I also have like exercise bands and, and all of that stuff back here. So it's all here and we use it either just by themselves or we'll hook them up to these little things right here. And be able to work out it's very similar to the gym when we're on those uh, cable machines that's kind of what I decided to make this look like when I first pulled this gym <laughs> together from the previous clips and I don't know what I'm gonna do with this artwork yet I just painted it black black canvas as you can see and once I figure out what I'm going to do with that we'll talk about that maybe you guys can help me with that part and in here in the closet this is where we store everything else uh good light is in here so I have a stepper I have another foam roller everything in here guys you're gonna laugh they're waist trainers <laughs> I have nothing but waist trainers in here so they're different kinds and different styles so I mentioned I'm gonna be doing a waist training uh, challenge program so you guys could know how to do waist training to get results these are the waist trainers that I use the most like this is a sweat belt both of them are sweat belts but this one actually singes in a little bit more but that's another video up above I have some uh, less heavier weights um, my rigging stuff for my silks, my hammock, and this Lyra here, because I do have a Lyra, <laughs> aerial arts, exercise ball, I still have more uh, like weights and things that I've gotten from Five Below, so I stocked up on them because they were no more than five, you know, bucks a piece for the 10 pounds and then probably like three or four dollars for the smaller weights. They only have tens. 
uh, fives and I think two and a halves. We even got more weights down there too, like handheld weights. Uh, this bench uh, I got from actually Facebook Marketplace. So you can look on Craigslist for things like that too. Got um, my kickboxing uh, bag. So that would be hung up here at the top. If you guys don't remember or if you saw it in the clip, saw that I put that there in order to hang the uh, kickboxing, the bag and my aerial stuff from there. And I cut the hole. So I'm going to finish this hole and make it a look a little bit more cleaner with this hole. I might extend it out a little bit more and then kind of finish it up so it doesn't look so like bowl up there in the ceiling even though there's already another one here and it's because i need to put that back on there all right so let's talk about the three cardio cardio machines in my home <laughs> this is uh i've always used the bike so what you guys may not know i've always used this bike for cardio um when i did my first bodybuilding competition this was the machine that i used the most to do my fasted cardio in the morning 20 30 minutes you know then i started walking and then once it got cold i decided to go ahead and get a uh manual treadmill so that's what this is you can get a um a automatic treadmill if you like but i just like this because um it it requires my effort and it's just i like it that's just me some people don't like manual um uh, trend meals but they're really good for going through uh, therapy or you're trying to rebuild strength I just like the manual treadmills plus it's small it's compact and I it keeps room on the floors and you know in my home gym and then I just recently got this and this is the body rider elliptical machine so it's a little smaller it works just the same way as any elliptical machine in your home gym all three of these items i will link them down below in the description box as to where you can get them i also can give you a tip two places you would love you would need i don't say need to but two places you can go to find machines like this whether you want all three two or just one of them you have facebook marketplace people are selling their you know gym equipment and you also have Craigslist you can actually check those two areas out to get your own otherwise you could just look down in the description box for these items so that you can be able to you know put them in your own home gym so with these three cardio machines there's three reasons why I think having a cardio machine whether all three or one of them that fits your needs one of the well I'll say three reasons one we're in quarantine time because of the coronavirus we're trying to stop the spread of it. So they have us all staying at home. So having a home gym is great, but you still need to be active. Even if you are able to get outside, get some vitamin D, I think that is the best thing you can do. Don't let um, the way they are saying you should do things scare you to the point where you don't go outside at all. You can still walk around and enjoy the sunlight if you have that available to you depends on where you live but having cardio machines within your home helps with three things one the quarantine we're dealing with two when you don't have time to drive to your gym you know get yourself together drive to your gym actually do your workout and then drive back home like it saves time when you have a gym in your home doesn't mean you shouldn't have a gym membership you don't have to have a gym membership if you do have a gym in your home but i have both i actually am a member of two gyms and i have a home gym so that's just me this is my lifestyle and this is what i choose to do um it's an option for you i'm just sharing it with you and then three for entrepreneurs or just people who work from home this makes it a lot easier it takes the excuse out of i gotta work and do all of this stuff and not even take the time to work out or get some activity into your life i could just come down here into my gym in the basement 
get some work done and still get you know a workout in just with the cardio machines just i mean i have a tv i can watch i can research i can do all kinds of things on my tv or on my phone as if you notice on some of my machines i do have this i got it from five below this is a like a phone holder i also have it on this as well and then i'm going to eventually get one once we can once the stores open up maybe i'll just look on amazon and i'm going to put one on here as well so that i am able to you know be on this machine <laughs> and do my research do my social posts do whatever it is that i do on my phone and still use my tv i have the fire stick on this tv so i can actually it's a smart tv so i can wire things to is that the word I want to say to the TV and be able to watch or do whatever I need to do so if you are a person who works from home or you're an entrepreneur definitely you need to get a gym in your home and you definitely need to get one of these cardio machines so yes so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you like my gym I like it it's my gym it's our gym but yeah, see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to check below so you can find the links where you can get these, any of these cardio machines for your home. You can also check out a exercise program just using any cardio machine. It'll be great to get some activity in. Check that out. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.